With the gradual infill feature in Cura you can save a lot of time and filament. A lot of decorative objects could be printed with a much lower infill. I don't know about you, but I use a lot of filament. And every chance I get to reduce the filament cost is worthwhile looking into for me. And Gradual Infill is one of these tools to reduce the filament cost very effectively. You can reduce the filament and time costs of your prints by 50% in average on some decorative prints. So the idea behind the Gradual Infill is that you only print as much infill as you need to support the upper layers of the object. The infill gets denser the more you get to the top of the object. Here you can see just the infill and the topper layers of the object. As you can see, I save a lot of filament using the gradual infill, but the support of the upper layers is still good enough. You can find the gradual infill feature in Cura under the infill settings. If you don't see it, you can activate its visibility over this menu right here. Here you can specify the number of times the density will get reduced by half. So if you set this to 5, a new option will appear with the gradual infill step height. I leave it on 5mm and press slice. So in the preview we can see now that the infill is very different from our original infill density of 20%. To better view it I turn off the shells in preview mode and you can see only the infill. So as in the other example you can see that the most upper density is our normal density of 20%. Below that we have 10%, then 5 and then 2.5 for the rest of the object. But you can also use lightning infill to save filament and time. With this infill pattern you can save also a lot of filament and in most cases even more than with gradual infill steps. The lightning infill pattern is also a great way to save time and filament when you print decorative objects. The lightning structure is supported by the shell itself and gets denser the more you get to the top of the object. And this is how a complex model gets sliced with lightning infill. As you can see only minimal infill is used to support the upper layers. If you like these kind of tutorials then hit the like button so it can spread to other people.